So you went mushroom hunting and you came back with mushrooms. Now what? Well, oh. this is a maitake mushroom, also called hen of the woods, because usually it grows at the bottom of oak trees or most hardwood trees. Kind of looks like that big sort of fluffy hen effect at the bottom of the tree. Kind of blends in pretty good. So you have to know what you're looking for to find them. Um, most people say, yeah, I found it. Now what do I do? How do I clean this thing? Well, we're going to go over that today. So as you can see, I already kind of started cutting into right here. This whole section was probably about uh, six pounds, five, five and a half, six pounds. So it was a pretty good size one. Sometimes they're smaller, sometimes they're bigger, uh, a little lighter, a little dark. This one's nice and dark. Um, but usually I just kind of run a section under water and uh, I slice them up real thin like this. And you kind of just, some pieces are more cleaner than others. They grow so fast a lot of times. You just want to run them under the water and sort of like rub all the dirt off. Um, you're not going to be able to get every single piece of sand out. Like there's, yeah, one piece here and there. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to do the best I can here one-handed while I hold the camera. But you'll generally get an idea. So sometimes you just got to go in and make a good cut. Or you can just kind of grab it with your hands and kind of pull it up. And I just, for the most part, kind of break it up. Just take one piece at a time. But you'll see, you see all that sort of dirt that gets stuck in there. Again, this is tough to do one-handed. <laughs> just sort of like try and get the dirt off the best you can. That's all. A little bit of the mushroom comes off, it's okay. It's all organic, right? A little dirt never killed anybody. It's just that simple. And then into the pot it goes. And I like to blanch my mushrooms. I bring it up to a boil and then shut it off. So I'll fill this pot all the way up. Um, blanch it for a few seconds and maybe like 30 seconds. And then I'll put them all into individual little Ziploc bags and pop them in the freezer. And then you have mushrooms all year round. So it's pretty fantastic. It's a pretty amazing mushroom if you want to look it up. Very medicinal, very healthy. And it's good to stock up this time of year. It is the fall. It's ideal time for this mushroom. So check it out. You might like the taste because it is fantastic. It is unlike any other mushroom. It's I can't explain how good it is, but saute it with some butter and garlic. You really can't lose with gar garlic and butter, really. Um, everything's good with butter. <laughs> so um, that's all. Just a little quick little tutorial about how to clean this, this big old girl here. <laughs> so happy mushroom hunting, everyone. And if you're going to be hunting mushrooms, please educate yourselves on which kinds of mushrooms you are hunting and how to properly harvest them.